I'm currently stuck in traffic right now, but I want to put y'all onto some game. So you know how in the book of Genesis, right, the enemy is portrayed as a serpent. And notice how the Bible says to be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. And the reason why it says as wise as serpents is because we need to begin to understand the enemy's offense. And we as Christians play too much defense. If we know how the enemy is going to attack us and we already know his steps before he makes them, we will be much more successful and proactive. I was listening to a sermon and this just spoke wonders. In order to defeat the enemy, we have to take the battle into the spiritual realm. And the way in which we take it into the spiritual realm is by fasting, is by praying, is by using the word of God and declaring and decreeing out loud because the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Physical weapons don't work against spiritual warfare. And so when we begin to fast and pray, we are taking that serpent and we are bringing it into the air. When eagles are going head to head against snakes, they know that the snake needs the ground in order to be successful. And so when we take our authority in Christ and we begin to operate in the heavenly realm, the enemy has no power. This is why he tries to keep us in our flesh. This is why it is so important to understand that we war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual darkness. And so when the enemy tries to get you in your flesh, when the enemy tries to keep you in your feelings, remember that this is a faith over feelings battle. And that when you bring it into the spiritual realm, that is ultimately where the victory lies.